At the last European Council during the German presidency in December, the heads of state and government agreed on a significantly higher climate target. Greenhouse gas emissions are expected to drop by at least 55% below the 1990 level. What is European climate and environmental protection policy about and what goals has Germany set for its council presidency? What is the EU doing to protect the climate and the environment? The most important climate protection instrument of the EU is emissions trading. It obliges energy companies and industry to acquire pollution rights in the form of certificates for every ton of greenhouse gas emitted. Because the total number of these certificates is becoming scarce every year, the EU is providing an effective incentive to save energy and greenhouse gases. Through the EU burden sharing, the Union obliges its member states to also ensure, ensure greenhouse gas savings in the area of transport, buildings and agriculture in order to meet the common savings target for the Paris, uh, Paris Climate Agreement. Another EU climate protection instruments are, for example, the guidelines for CO2 limit values, for vehicles, for the energy efficiency of buildings or the eco-design guideline with energy standards and labeling requirements for products such as household appliances. In the area of environmental protection, the EU advocates making consumption more environmentally friendly in the future, for example by banning single-use plastic. There are also guidelines on water quality, waste disposal, nature conservation and air quality. What does climate neutrality mean for the EU? Europe is to be the first climate neutral continent by 2050. Climate neutrality means emitting only so few greenhouse gases that the atmosphere is not additionally polluted. Greenhouse gas emissions can be offset, for example, by being absorbed by forests. Storage of the gases is also conceivable. The goal of greenhouse gas neutrality is set out in the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. The European Commission recently proposed, as an intermediate step, to reduce emissions by at least 55% by 2030 compared to the 1990 levels. What is the European Green Deal? The European Green Deal is the heart of the Europe's sustainability efforts. It combines climate and environmental protection as well as the preservation of biodiversity with social justice and economic growth. The most important challenges for 2030 are advances in carbon-free steelmaking, accelerating decarbonization in the aerospace, aerospace and also auto industries. Creation of a European industrial framework for climate and biodiversity friendly materials and products. With the help of this strategy, the EU wants to achieve no more net greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. What climate and environmental policy goals has Germany set for itself during its EU Council presidency? Germany has held the presidency of the Council of the European Union since July 1st and until December 31st. During this time, Germany would like to conclude negotiations in the EU Environment Council for an EU climate law for a climate neutral EU by 2050. Implement the EU biodiversity strategy for a healthy nature as well as the use of digitization for environmental protection and innovation. What is the EU climate law actually? The EU climate law defines the long term route to achieve the goal of climate neutrality by 2050 in all policy areas in a socially just and cost-efficient manner. It includes emission reductions, investment in cli climate-friendly technologies and environmental protection. This only works if all EU policy areas contribute to this goal and all sectors of the economy and social groups do their part. Europe is playing a pioneering role in climate protection. What is the biodiversity strategy 2030 about? With the biodiversity strategy, the EU is investing 20 billion euros in biodiversity, that means in species protection. The money will be used to strengthen organic farming, to re-establish more natural spaces and to plant 3 billion trees by 2030. The use of harmful pesticides is also to be reduced by 50% by 2030. And by the way, half of the world's economic output, that's 40 trillion euros, depends on nature. What does sustainable digitization mean? The EU should be a pioneer for sustainable digitization. Specifically, specifically, this means that digitization itself should be environmentally and climate friendly so that it does not act like a fire accelerator for climate change. Digital technology can be used to protect the environment, climate and resources. 
The network combination of different means of transport is one of them. That means from the bike to the train, then to car sharing and back on the bike. Intelligent net networking can also save resources in agriculture and in the energy consumption of data centers. It is also about the ecological design and the responsible use of artificial intelligence. How is the German Council Presidency itself organized in a climate neutral way? The federal government follows the principles of climate friendly action. First avoid and reduce emissions, then offset. It is based on the criteria of the Federal Environment Agency and the Federal Environment Ministry. These criteria relate to the selection of the event locations, waste management, catering and travel options for guests. All unavoidable greenhouse gas emissions caused by the travel of the participants and the events themselves are offset. How is the EU making the Corona Recovery Fund climate friendly? 30% of the total expenditure from the multi-annual financial framework, the MFF, and Next Generation EU are to be used for climate-related projects. MFF and Next Generation EU spending will be in line with the EU's 2050 climate neutrality target, the EU's 2030 climate targets and the Paris agreements. If you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel, visit my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.